Andrew Siegel, MD, urologist from the Bergen County, New Jersey area, with an educational video on the subject of penile fracture. First, a few words about the penis in general before delving into trauma to the penis. Very much an amazing organ. It does a wonderful job at multitasking. First off, a urinary function to allow directed urinary flow that allows men to stand. Very convenient if you're used to the bathrooms in the New York metropolitan area. Secondly, a sexual function. When rigidity is established, it allows vaginal penetration in order to complete the act of sexual intercourse. And thirdly, a reproductive function. The penis acting as a conduit for semen and hence reproduction with passage of DNA and perpetuation of the species. No other organ in the body, save the iris of the eye, will change so much between its two states. If our biceps could do it, we would look like Popeye on demand. A few words about anatomy now. The penis does not have a bone, as does the penis of many other mammals. This is referred to as the os penis, and the bone is there for the purpose of establishing rigidity such that sexual intercourse can occur. In the human, rigidity is obtained via blood flow. Essentially, there are two inner tubes within the penis, very similar to tubes in car tires. Under the proper set of circumstances, that is erotic and or tactile, blood will flow into the spongy tissue of the penis that is actually very similar to the spongy tissues of the sinuses. Blood will be trapped in these erectile cylinders and the erectile cylinders will expand both in length and girth, establishing a rigid erection. Now these cylinders are, are covered with a very tough and durable outer sheath called the tunic, penile fracture. It happens rarely. We see maybe once or two a year or two but it is very dramatic and it is regarded as a surgical emergency. The flaccid penis is protected against trauma by virtue of its flaccidity and its mobility. However, the price we pay for a rigid erection is the potential for trauma or injury. There is already a great deal of pressure and tension in these erectile cylinders by virtue of the blood flow that has established a rigid erection. Essentially what happens in a penile fracture is the following. The most typical scenario is during sexual intercourse when a misstroke occurs and the erect penis strikes the perineum, that is the area between the vagina and the anal area, in slang terms known as the taint, and sustains a buckling injury. When this happens, that outer tough tunic or sheath covering the erectile cylinders can rupture in one or more places and when this happens, it's very, very dramatic. There is typically an audible pop, immediate pain and loss of erection, and significant swelling and purplish discoloration of the penis as blood escapes from the erectile cylinder or cylinders into the soft tissue of the penis. Now, this does not strictly occur during sexual intercourse. It can occur in any set of circumstances in which there is blunt trauma to the erect penis, such as rolling over in bed, or walking into a wall in a poorly illuminated room, or vigorous masturbation, or any other type of uh, circumstance that you could think of. This is an emergency that needs to be dealt with expediently, because if it isn't, the injury can result in significant scarring that can cause both erectile dysfunction and a significant penile angulation bend or deviation in the future. One of the most helpful diagnostic tests we have is MRI, which can help characterize the site and the extent of the injury. It is not always necessary, but what is necessary is a trip to the operating room, 
where under anesthesia the penis is degloved, meaning the skin is brought back to expose the deeper tissues of the penis. The fracture site is identified and is carefully closed with sutures and then the degloved penis is reattached. This generally heals very nicely and if done on a timely and expedient basis then future erectile function can be preserved. So the long and the short of it is is that penile fracture is a rare but serious occurrence that happens on the basis of a blunt traumatic injury to the erect penis. If this happens to you, and I hope it doesn't, just get to the emergency room as soon as possible where a urologist will address this expediently. For more information on this subject as well as pretty much any subject in urology, please consult our practice website at www dot bergen urological dot com from this site you can access numerous written materials on a variety of subjects in urology as well as many videos that i have done a weekly blog and information about my two books finding your own fountain of youth which is a free electronic download and promiscuous eating understanding and ending our self-destructive relationship with food and if you're interested in this it can be accessed directly via the website thank you very much for your attention